All right, so just days ago now, the NHL announced they signed a 10-year deal with Fanatics starting next year. So we won't see many changes from now until sometime in the 24 year. They have also stated that they're not gonna be making many changes to anything we see on ice other than the Fanatics logo on the jerseys, which they seemed like super excited about. You can kind of see that in the CEO when he was talking about it. But anyway, the point of today's video is I have a lot of jerseys. I'm sure we all have lots of jerseys we can kind of go through, but I wanna show you some differences between Reebok, Adidas, CCM, Fanatics, and then a couple of fakes that I have. So let's go take a look at those jerseys now. We're just gonna start from the top with probably the worst. Um, I have a um, Reebok jersey, but it's actually a fake Reebok jersey. So if you look at the bear's face, it is completely morphed. Like the stitch job was like, they pretty much gave up on it. It's absolutely terrible. The color on the crest, if I hold this up, it's a beat up and it's pretty dirty. So look at the discoloration. So it came like that. The discoloration on this crest is actually like a faded yellow compared to like the actual Bruin yellow. And then when you look at the back, like that, the actual cresting is nice. It feels good quality but the colors are totally off as well as the terrible face on the bear there. My other Reebok fake one, this was a 2011 Stanley Cup. Again, seemed nice one when I got it, but very similar things with the crest. The Reebok part up here, you can tell it's just like made in some random factory probably. And then again, these crests, right? Very much the same issue there. If you take a look at the bear's face, it's just mangled. And these shoulders patches were have always been curled like that. So if they wrap around the shoulder, like that's just, it's made just really poor quality. So moving on to my actual Reebok jerseys, you can tell the top part there compared to that top part over there. These are my other Reebok jerseys. The color of the crest actually matches that yellow, right? So that's one thing. This is my Bergeron one. Kind of have a patch here. This one was expensive and I feel like it could be better quality for what I paid. I think it was like 260 at the time or 250. But anyway, that's that Reebok one, the Bergeron. This is just a nameless uh, Bruins alternate, the Reebok. Um, the crest in the front feels great. The ones on the shoulders are kind of cheap. This one I wasn't a huge fan of actually. So I'm actually happy I didn't get a name on it. So I just kind of beat this one of outdoors. Uh, one of the Bruins outdoor jerseys that they had. I love the numbers on here uh, the quality very similar the Reebok quality the crest I really like that old style almost like a cloth there for the bear you have CCM probably one of my favorite ones rarely wear this one found it for dirt cheap so this is CCM old school seeing this jersey it stands out that ore is deep deep yellow totally different color from there but that old style that's just kind of how they did it super super nice and then I have another so this is from the recent um, jerseys that we're seeing right now basically these Adidas ones were pretty good quality can't complain this was just super cheap I got it when I was in Boston it was cheap so I just grabbed the because uh, it's just a, it's a little bit of a different, like a switch up jersey kind of thing. And then more Adidas with that cloth. You can kind of see the texture there in the light, kind of, yeah. So kind of like that nice cloth texture on the logo, which I really like. And then these cr shoulder crests are something else. I love those shoulder crests. Super nice touch for the 2019 Winter Classic jerseys. These are my wife, so very similar quality. Uh, she has a Reebok one same as mine good and then we move on to fanatics so this is my fanatics jersey i've heard so many different things about the crest the quality of the materials i wore this for the first time to a, the bruins game here in uh, in winnipeg when they came i would say the only thing i don't like about this jersey the actual string is stitched so that you can't move them around like i guess you could have that removed it's just kind of cheesy i don't know i just don't like the idea that you can't like loosen that or tighten it or tie it do whatever you want the shoulder crest i would say they're kind of meh i don't know if i'm a huge fan of them can't quite remember what the authentic actual jersey hat but these fanatics ones i like the nice touch here with the date they played the game the actual jersey and the crest and these all these nice little touches they added just like stuff like this on the s like all those nice touches and the actual bear's face to me the quality is awesome i know a lot of people that have these i've heard they don't like that i don't know what you don't like about it i, I don't know it's just weird to me but and then the marshan on the back same those nice touches all those little accents they added there with the extra stitching. I, I just think it looks great. So for myself, if I had to say, I'm actually not worried about Fanatics taking over. My wife has another Fanatics, there's one or two, I can't remember. So she has two. So this is her Fanatics uh, Bruins jersey. It has a different design here uh, than the one I showed you earlier. Again, the fit, unless you're a complete snob, is not gonna be a huge issue. Uh, and then this is her Fanatics one. This is a bit more for image. I would say that this one, because the logo, if you look at the logo, it's kind of like shiny, has like a shimmer to it. And this is, goes for the same for the numbers. But again, 
my wife does not care like it's it's a woman's jersey it's kind of stands out because of that shimmering and she likes that no issues there i do feel like the quality is good another one of the other qualities i didn't really care for is if you're going to wear your jerseys a lot is going to be with the actual pilling of the materials these fanatics ones so far i have had no issues or concerns about pilling if you look at a lot of the reebok ones my wife barely wears that one so that's not gonna be a good example anyway pilling you didn't see a lot of them on the ccm unless there was a lot of rubbing but here on my reebok one you can see some snags probably from, from me wearing it. Yeah, so this Reebok one here, didn't wear this one a whole lot, but there's just a lot of snags and a lot of pilling on them. So that material that the Reebok used, in my opinion, wasn't super great. So that's why I'm okay with seeing what Fanatics can bring to the table for us as fans. I mean, who cares as far as what they wear on the ice, it's gonna look nice anyway. But as far as fans go, I am looking forward to seeing what Fanatics brings and what, how they progressively change what we see uh, from a fan's perspective anyway. Now, the CEO, Michael Rubin, from a lot of the reading that I've done on him, he has a lot of very powerful connections, a lot of good connections. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. If you are interested in this CEO, the, the man who started Fanatics has gotten it to where it is right now, they are involved in pretty much all of sports, all of professional sports anyway. And finally, they are more involved in NHL. There's a New York Times article on Michael Rubin that I actually found pretty interesting. He's actually done a lot of good for people outside of just being an entrepreneur. So if you're interested in that i will take that below as well as some further information on the deal that was signed between the nhl and fanatics that's something you can check out as well i think it was more surprising to people than anything else because fanatics isn't a brand like we see like nike like adidas like reebok like ccm it's totally different than what we've seen it just to me when i think about it, it almost just seems like a website they are a brand that make really good quality products so we'll see what they can do with the nhl if there's one thing i'm interested in from you the viewer it is well, how many jerseys do you have? How many different teams of jerseys do you have? And which brands do you have as well? I am interested. So you can hit that up in the comments below. I will tell you what I have below as well. And we'll catch you next time.